Hello everyone, this is Pranshi Verma. Welcome to my channel guys. Today's topic is EC8092 Advanced Wireless Communication Unit 1 and your unit 1 name is Capacity of Wireless Channels. Ok guys, so let's begin the session Advanced Wireless Communication Unit 1 Multiple Choice Question and Answer. In this, your first question is Who pioneered the wireless industry 100 years ago? Here, option A, B, C, D are given here. And your correct answer is option D. This is Jagdish Chandra Bose. Okay. Jagdish Chandra Bose, the Indian scientist who pioneered wireless communication in the year 1890s. Okay. So, Jagdish Chandra Bose is correct answer here. Next question. Wireless finds its widest expression in Option A, only in mobile rules. Option B, only in fixed rules. Option C, both in fixed and mobile rules. Here, correct answer is option C. This is wireless finds its widest expression in both. Means in mobile rules as well as in fixed rules also. Okay. So, your correct answer is option C. Next question. BPS in wireless communication denotes Option A, bytes per second. Option B, bits per section. Option C, bits per second. Here, correct answer is option C, bits per second. Okay. BPS in wireless communication denotes by a bits per second. Okay. My dear students, this is pretty simple. BPS stands for bit per second and bit per second in wireless communication denotes bit by second. Okay. Next question. First mobile communications system were analog or digital so correct answer here is analog first mobile communications systems were analog okay next question in the beginning of 1990s the first digital system emerged denoted as option a first generation system option b second generation system option c third generation system and option d fourth generation system Correct answer is option B, second generation systems. Okay. In the beginning of the 1990s, the first digital system emerged denoted as second generation system. Next question is, the core of the idea of multiple input, multiple output systems is to use in where? So, this idea, multiple input and multiple output system is used in multiple antennas. Okay. So, the core of this idea, multiple input as well as multiple output, both is used in multiple antennas and they both are used for transmission and reception respectively. Next question. Blank space is the average increase in the signal to noise ratio at the receiver that arises from the current combining effect of multiple antennas at receiver or transmitter or both. Correct answer here is option C, array gain. Okay. Array gain is the average increase in the signal to noise ratio, means SNR, at the receiver that arises from the coherent combining effect of multiple antennas at the receiver or transmitter and receiver and transmitter both. Okay. Next question. When the signal power drops significantly, the channel is said to be in a fade mode. Okay. When the signal power drops significantly, the channel is said to be in a fade mode. Next question. How many types of diversity schemes are there in wireless communication? So guys, this question ka answer kahi kahi 3 bhi diya hua hai. But I think it's wrong because mainne kaafi search kiya is question par. According to Google's best result, there are 5 types of diversity schemes are there in wireless communication and they are frequency diversity, second one time diversity and third one polarization diversity, fourth one angle diversity and fifth one is space diversity. Okay, I hope you have read this syllabus in detail. Next question. The blank space of a MIMO channel in the, in the ensemble average of the information rate over the distribution of the elements of the channel matrix H here correct answer is option B this is 
ergodic capacity okay the ergodic capacity of a memo channel is the ensemble average of the information rate over the distribution of the elements of the channel matrix h next question ergodic capacity is the blank space of the cdc curve option a is correct here this is median okay ergodic capacity is the median of the cdf curve okay Next question, blank space is the capacity that is guaranteed with a certain level of reliability. Correct answer here is option D, outage capacity. Outage capacity is the capacity that is guaranteed with a certain level of reliability. Now, next question, the unit of efficiency is bits per second per hertz. Okay, so the correct unit of efficiency is bit per second per hertz. Okay. Option C is correct here. Next question. In real signal, if the K value is 4, then the transmission period P is 4. According to real signal, in real signal, if the K value is 4, okay, then the transmission period P is 4. For example, if the K value is 2, then the transmission period will be Transmission period P will be 2. Okay. So, transmission period will decide with the help of value of K in real signal. Okay. Next question. In complex signal, if the K value is 4, then the transmission period P is 8. Okay. Guys, in real case, transmission period value P is same as K value. But in the case of complex signal transmission period value is double of the k value okay for example in the complex signal if the k value is 2 then the transmission period p will be double of 2 means 2 multiplication by a 2 it's equal to 4 okay so in this way if complex signal if the k value is 4 then the transmission period p is 8. Here correct answer is option C. 8. Next question. The inner product of any two rows of matrix is 0. This is frequently asked question and uh, I repeat inner product of any two rows of matrix is 0. Okay guys now let's find out the session. See you in the next video means unit 2 of the subject. I hope you like the video. Please share this video with your friends. Wish you very very all the best for your examination. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates. Bye-bye.